Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll be here every Friday, most Mondays for a live session. We'll show you reality. Usually I do not succeed and um, that is normal. So here I am now after my last recorded live was a Monday. If you paid attention, you know this and I didn't like the outcome. I want to do it again though. So I want to just keep going. I will show you how I make a cell activator out of pigments. I stole that from Lisa Marvin Art. I'm not sure if she figured it out, but I saw it on her channel. And um, thanks Lisa for that. It works great. Let me flip you around and show you what I'm talking about. All right, I have a mortar and a pestle because this little piggy inferno, this is my, my pigment that I'll be using, is coarse. Like a regular pigment, like a mineral pigment too. That is normal for those kinds of pigments. And you usually use a mullet and a glass plate to grind them. I don't have that right now, so I'm using a mortar and a pestle. Remember the amount of pigment you put in. So this step is, hmm, I'm not sure if this step is necessary. I um, use the alcohol to wet the pigments and make a thick paste while I grind it. So I'm not 100% sure if that is necessary or if you could just use the matte medium that we're gonna add in a bit. So we're not using gloss gel. The matte has something to it that helps create the cells. And since this is a matte color, we don't need the gloss. I add the same amount as the pigment, so it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Now, if you use a mica pigment that has a bling to it and you want to keep the shine, then you have to, instead of using one part matte medium, use half a part and the other half would be the gloss medium. That way you have still the cell making ability, but also your gloss. Okay, so now we basically made a paint and we just proceed like we would making our two paint cell activator. Depending on how much of the matte medium you put in, the amount of Australian flow troll varies. That's why I just go by feel. Okay. If you've seen my last life, I had a color combination in mind. I tried it out, didn't like it. That was, yeah, a few hours ago. So those are the drips of my scraped painting. I spread out nickel azo gold with my spreader to make sure it's a thin layer. Um, maybe not necessarily that it's a thin layer, but that I cover a lot. I think that's more my aim here. I cover that with my purple. And I spread that out that much also because I want my canvas in the end covered with black. So I will add my black layer. And yeah, I do that to have a black background, but also the effects you're getting with that are just 
so cool. And now I add my cell activator that we just did. It's so intense. This one is also this little piggy. I did it the same way. It's mosh. Yeah, this was a surprise for me as well. I thought that the hairdryer might be a little bit too powerful for what I was going to do. I didn't want to spread out the paint, my puddle, too much. I wanted more to expand when I tilted and spin it out. So I keep doing this and this one I just added a line, not really sure what I wanted to do other than create, I don't know, it looks like a creature, well, for now. So I keep playing and see how elastic the cell activator is. It's very stretchable and it holds its shape very well. I try to develop different ways to get rid of my paint on top of my palette knife when I want to stop a scoop and drag. Uh, I, I get a little bit bored of those piggy tails, especially when they're like white. Okay, another puddle. And this thing was very impulsive. So I spread out the cell activator a little bit as you would when you're blowing out a bloom. And then I added a short, powerful blow right in the middle of it and it creates these splatters. The splatter blow would be a good name. For the next one I use a little bit of boom gel just to see what it does because um, I don't see it moving as much as the other paints. There was it again and see how cool the white splattered over the composition. Okay, let's give it a spin. Oh, and look at that. Loving the splatters. <laughs> Loving the intensity of that cell activator. So usually I lose the fluorescence on top of black, but it's it seems that the cell activator holds up way better. A little bit tilting, finding the composition before I spin again. Yeah, I'm just loving the intensity and I love the shining through layers. It's very spacey looking. The whole technique is always very spacey looking, no matter which colors you use. Well, I guess you have to use a black 
background or a dark background. There's a little bit of fiddling, still um, stretching out some lines, making them more clear, popping some bubbles, but I'm just loving the overall chaos. The splatters, the weird shapes. I'm always looking for different things. I'm not a big fan of the mm, similarity in between blooms, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, also, swipes can be very linear, similar looking. Um, <laughs> whew, gotta be careful what I'm saying here, but I get bored very easily. Uh, this stuff though, so cool. Okay guys, um, why don't you mix up some fluorescence, put it on black and be happy. Thank you guys so much for being here, watching my stuff, liking my stuff, commenting. Okay, let's get you close. Oh uh, guys, isn't this just awesome? It gives you a little bit of a Halloween-y feel. I mean, it's the color choice. But, um, okay, so the splatter, the white one. The white is basically my pillow paint. And um, that never dries the way you see it when it's wet. It's just the way it is. Here's a scoop and drag and it turns out to be green. Who knows where that comes from? I'm guessing the black and the Nicolaise of gold, maybe? And um, those big bubbles there are from the scoop and drag. There's my splatters. I love that. Guys, I'm gonna make something out of that, I promise. Okay. Thanks um, for being here again. Please hit the like button if you like it. Subscribe, hit the bell, all those things. Um, see you next week. Monday for life. Okay, bye bye. So it's me, real quick. Um, Seattle. I'll be teaching in April at the Fluid Art Experience. You can learn this stuff from me. Um, you can also just do introduction course and then add another course if you want to, if you're not that experienced. I'm out.